Earth's Fig Momentometer, Wikipedia Article Audio A Fig Momentometer, also known as a blood pressure meter, blood pressure monitor, or blood pressure gauge, is a device used to measure blood pressure, composed of an inflatable cuff to collapse and then release the artery under the cuff in a controlled manner, and a mercury or mechanical manometer to measure the pressure. It is always used in conjunction with a means to determine at what pressure blood flow is just starting, and at what pressure it is unimpeded. Manual sphygmomanometers are used in conjunction with a stethoscope. A sphygmomanometer consists of an inflatable cuff, a measuring unit, and a mechanism for inflation which may be a manually operated bulb and valve or a pump operated electrically. Types Manual Both manual and digital meters are currently employed, with different trade-offs in accuracy versus convenience. A stethoscope is generally required for auscultation. Manual meters are used by trained practitioners, and, while it is possible to obtain a basic reading through palpation alone, this only yields the systolic pressure. Digital meters employ oscillometric measurements and electronic calculations rather than auscultation. They may use manual or automatic inflation, but both types are electronic, easy to operate without training, and can be used in noisy environments. They measure systolic and diastolic pressures by oscillometric detection, employing either deformable membranes that are measured using differential capacitance, or differential piezo resistance, and they include a microprocessor. They accurately measure mean blood pressure and pulse rate, while systolic and diastolic pressures are obtained less accurately than with manual meters, and calibration is also a concern. Digital oscillometric monitors may not be advisable for some patients, such as those suffering from arteriosclerosis, arrhythmia, preeclampsia, pulsus alternans, and pulsus paradoxus, as their calculations may not correct for these conditions, and in these cases, an analog sphygmomanometer is preferable when used by a trained person. Digital instruments may use a cuff placed in order of accuracy and inverse order of portability and convenience, around the upper arm, the wrist, or a finger. The oscillometric method of detection used gives blood pressure readings that differ from those determined by auscultation, and vary according to many factors, such as pulse pressure, heart rate, and arterial stiffness, although some instruments are claimed also to measure arterial stiffness, and some can detect irregular heartbeats. In humans, the cuff is normally placed smoothly and snugly around an upper arm, at roughly the same vertical height as the heart while the subject is seated with the arm supported. Other sites of placement depend on species, it may include the flipper or tail. It is essential that the correct size of cuff is selected for the patient. Too small a cuff results in too high a pressure, while too large a cuff results in too low a pressure. For clinical measurements it is usual to measure and record both arms in the initial consultation to determine if the pressure is significantly higher in one arm than the other. A difference of 10 mm Hg may be a sign of coarctation of the aorta. If the arms read differently, the higher reading arm would be used for later readings. The cuff is inflated until the artery is completely occluded. With a manual instrument, listening with a stethoscope to the brachial artery at the elbow, the examiner slowly releases the pressure in the cuff. As the pressure in the cuffs falls, a whooshing or pounding sound is heard when blood flow first starts again in the artery. The pressure at which this sound began is noted and recorded as the systolic blood pressure. The cuff pressure is further released until the sound can no longer be heard. This is recorded as the diastolic blood pressure. 
In noisy environments where auscultation is impossible, systolic blood pressure alone may be read by releasing the pressure until a radial pulse is palpated. In veterinary medicine, auscultation is rarely of use, and palpation or visualization of pulse distal to the sphygmomanometer is used to detect systolic pressure. Digital Digital instruments use a cuff which may be placed, according to the instrument, around the upper arm, wrist, or a finger, in all cases elevated to the same height as the heart. They inflate the cuff and gradually reduce the pressure in the same way as a manual meter, and measure blood pressures by the oscillometric method. By observing the mercury in the column while releasing the air pressure with a control valve, one can read the values of the blood pressure in mmHg. The peak pressure in the arteries during the cardiac cycle is the systolic pressure, and the lowest pressure is the diastolic pressure. A stethoscope is used in the auscultatory method. Systolic pressure is identified with the first of the continuous coro cough sounds. Diastolic pressure is identified at the moment the coro cough sounds disappear. Operation Measurement of the blood pressure is carried out in the diagnosis and treatment of hypertension, and in many other healthcare scenarios. The sphygmomanometer was invented by Samuel Siegfried Karl Ritter von Basch in 1881. Scipione Riverocci introduced a more easily used version in 1896. In 1901, Harvey Cushing brought an example of Riverocci's device to the USA, modernized it and popularized it within the medical community. Further improvement came in 1905 when Russian physician Nikolai Korokov included diastolic blood pressure measurement following his discovery of Korokov sounds. The word sphygmomanometer uses the combining form of sphygmo plus manometer. The roots involved are as follows, Greek sigma phi upsilon gamma mu sphygmos pulse, plus the scientific term manometer, i.e. pressure meter, itself coined from mu alpha nu manos thin, sparse, and mu tau rho omicron nu metron measure. Significance Most sphygmomanometers were mechanical gauges with dial faces during the first half of the 20th century. Since the advent of electronic medical devices, names such as meter and monitor can also apply as devices can automatically monitor blood pressure on an ongoing basis. History Etymology Mercury's sphygmomanometers are considered the gold standard. They show blood pressure by affecting the height of a column of mercury, which does not require recalibration. Because of their accuracy, they are often used in clinical trials of drugs and in clinical evaluations of high-risk patients, including pregnant women. Aneroid sphygmomanometers are in common use, they may require calibration checks, unlike mercury manometers. Aneroid sphygmomanometers are considered safer than mercury sphygmomanometers, although inexpensive ones are less accurate. A major cause of departure from calibration is mechanical jarring. Aneroids mounted on walls or stands are not susceptible to this particular problem. <laughs>